I am Professor Hampi Huli, uh, Professor at Department of Mathematics, KLS uh, GIT Bhagami. We are there here to learn uh, integral calculus, double and triple integration. This is lecture number 8 of uh, 18 MAT 11, Calculus and Linear Algebra, Module 3 it is. So now we are in the phase of uh, how to evaluate double integration changing to polar coordinates. And thereby today uh, we will move to uh, beta gamma functions also, beta and gamma functions also, very beautiful and nice structures of integration. So here we go with the next uh, examples of uh, changing to Cartesian, pol Cartesian to polar coordinates. Next example, change the integral Question will be like this. Instead of change, they may ask apply the integral minus a2 plus a 0 to square root of a square minus x square. The moment this is written, you should understand that this is limit of y. Now you are getting used to it. Again, square root of x square plus y square. Here anything can be there in terms of x and y. Some dx dy by this uh, next one is important by changing to to polar coordinates because already change is written polar coordinates now first of all given integration we shall uh, assign the limits First one is in terms of x naturally means this is the limit of y. Second one is naturally should be constant limits. It should be limit of x. So the order will be dy dx because first one is y. Second one is x. Integrand given square root of x square plus y square. Immediately if you draw the diagram. The limits are. You can very easily see that given limits are y equal to 0 means x axis. So let us take that x axis y equal to 0. This is x axis. and uh, y equal to 0 to y equal to square root of a square minus x square when you square it y square equal to square goes square root goes and any times when you are doing it you are getting used to this this is a circle so hence i draw the circle So, first limit is x axis, second limit is circle. So, if I take uh, dx dy an elementary area, I have to limit, move it from lower limit to upper limit. That is uh, x axis to circle. Come on, we shall move x axis here to circle if I move it like this up and down if I move it this elementary area so then it comes and touches here the x axis and touches here the y axis y equal to I mean circle y equal to 0 to y equal to square root of a square minus x square now to find the region of integration you have to move it from minimum of x this point x equal to minus a to maximum of x this point x equal to a so you move this right left like this if you move left like this it will come and touch here these are the different uh, so it should be above the x axis 
and below the circle from this line to this line naturally means uh, this becomes our region of integration now i am wishing to take the polar coordinates from the for the same so when i take the polar coordinates for the same so i'll be creating strip in this fashion that is if i take the strip it will be a strip like this because this is elementary area it looks like this elementary area always and this elementary area is r d r d theta and when it moves from minimum 0 to maximum radius of the circle is a so this moment is radius vector this is a uh, suppose r equal to 0 r equal to 0 0.1 r equal to 0 0.2 r equal to a so r varies from 0 to a you can see that it is becoming constant limit and this torch like structure move from minimum to maximum you rotate like this anti clockwise so when you rotate like this so that you are covering the entire as if you are brooming suppose you are brooming rotating that broom like this structure broom like this broom like this broom like this see it comes here so what is the angle of rotation from 0 degree to pi by 2 pi by 2 to here pi pi degree so theta varies from theta equal to 0 to theta equal to pi hence we are ready for the region of integration in terms of polar coordinates also so hence uh, to change to polar coordinates one fixed thing is x equal to r cos theta y equal to r sin theta dx dy is not at all equal to dr d theta the jacobian is r here multiplying factor after all this is the real number something like 20 this is also a real number something like 10 the transformer is 2 jacobian of transformation is 2 anything you can transform to one more number by multiplying by the transformation here dx dy is r dr d theta also r is going from 0 to a theta is going from 0 to pi by 2 so everything should be converted in terms of r theta once we convert in terms of r theta nowhere xy should appear so hence converting i in polar form that is r theta form i equal to theta equal to 0 to pi by 2 r equal to 0 to a now square root of x square plus y square so needless to tell that byproduct of this this rule is never forget this condition has come because of the relation this is x this is y this is theta this is r and r is square root of x square plus y square by pythagoras theorem x and y in cartesian language r and theta are in polar language both mean the same whether x y means you call or r theta you call two different languages to call the same point so r equal to square root of x square plus y square so this becomes the square root of x square plus y square is r or it is r square inside this is r dr d theta so immediately we can write it as square root also square root also disappears <coughs> theta 0 to pi by 2 r equal to 0 to a r square dr d theta i integrate it so even you can separate them because constant limits are there and uh, you can separate the r and theta separately r square dr separately d theta separately r equal to 0 to a r square dr also you can do like this also so theta between 0 to pi by 2 side by side all of you are witnessing the advantage of converting into polar coordinates because complicated integration has become so simple integration upper limit minus lower limit pi by 2 minus 0 upper limit minus lower limit is wherever r is there a a cube minus 0 by 3 
why not the final answer should be written as pi a cube by 6 pi a cube uh, I think uh, this uh, this limit is uh, not 0 to pi by 2 this limit is 0 to pi thank you this limit is 0 to pi 0 to pi because in the diagram we have shown it uh, 0 to pi 0 to pi pi minus 0 so pi a cube by 3 is the final answer so pi by 2 you remove it as uh, 0 to pi thank you very very similarly next one again evaluate changing to polar coordinates simply I am writing evaluate 0 to a 0 to square root of a square minus y square y into square root of x square plus y square dx dy now the formalities you know x equal to r cos theta y equal to r sin theta dx by dx dy equal to r dr d theta again the limits are first you should assign the limits limits if I assign this will be for x because it is a y here x equal to 0 to square root of a square minus y square y equal to this one now when I draw this uh, write this x equal to 0 is y axis x equal to 0 is y axis and x equal to square root of a square minus y square simplifying x square plus y square equal to a square is a circle so y axis to circle and y equal to 0 to y equal to a region of integration is very important this should be very very careful so first of all draw the circle then first create a elementary area this you move parallel to x axis parallel to x axis so x equal to 0 is one boundary this is x equal to 0 is y axis so move from this point so left limit to the circle a y axis to circle so the right limit if you go on moving like this touch the circle see so this strip created is parallel to this so it is in the first coordinate falling please and y equal to 0 means uh, this line is the boundary to y equal to a means uh, this uh, line is the boundary so point touching here this whole strip you start moving up and down so that uh, it is inside the first quadrant moving the lower limit like this just for information I am showing upper limit becomes a small strip like this covering the entire region it covers the entire region like this it covers the entire region now we know that when I take a uh, strip uh, parallel to x axis y axis we get a Cartesian uh, strip but whereas the same thing if I start taking a strip uh, parallel to in the Cartesian to polar coordinate frame that is moving from r equal to 0 to a because this is a strip here and theta equal to 0 to this line to this line theta equal to 0 to theta equal to pi by 2 so region of integration locating is first of important things this you can do provided you know the figures as circle x axis y axis simple things but you know them and similarly how to take dx dy and all that Please always write the transformation factors x equal to r cos theta y equal to r sin theta dx dy equal to 
r d r d theta and the limits uh, please do write r equal to 0 to a and theta equal to 0 to pi by 2. Now we are ready to write the new limits r 0 to a theta 0 to pi by 2. Now y means y means y means everything in terms of r sin theta after transformation there should be no xy here no xy here square root of x square plus y square is r then dx dy is r dr d theta so let us uh, simplify in terms of r and theta whatever we got let us simplify whatever we got which is uh, theta equal to 0 to pi by 2 r equal to 0 to a r cube sin theta dr d theta i will integrate in a different fashion as good as in the double integration fashion unlike the first i did let me integrate uh, first uh, r part uh, which becomes raised to 4 by 4 and 0 to a things become simple many times when you convert it to polar coordinates so dr is over only d theta remains which is uh, theta equal to 0 to pi by 2 sin theta as it is a raised to 4 by a 4 d theta a raised to 4 by 4 you can take out sin theta becomes minus cos between 0 to pi by 2 which is a raised to 4 by 4 minus of upper limit 0 minus lower limit 1 so hence uh, finally it becomes uh, a raised to 4 by 4 becomes the answer so these are the some of the examples where it can be shown that things become simple a small homework here in both the cases first example today's first example small homework here instead of this limit you write square root of a square minus y square so that everything the role of x and y goes on changing but the answer becomes same the role of x and y remains the same like instead of first y here it becomes first x then instead of first x it becomes y instead of dy dx it becomes dx dy instead of this uh, it will get uh, this part of reason of integration please do that instead of uh, 0 to pi this becomes minus pi to pi as the uh, theta equal to minus pi to pi r equal to 0 to a maximum so but the final answer will get the same please do try similarly just uh, change the limit in the second second also and uh, here also instead of uh, y here you take x and try to integrate see that you may get the different answer but but you interchange you change x here and you change x also here that time you will get the same so homework is homework is 0 to a 0 to square root of a square minus x square x square root of x square plus y square dx dy answer should remain the same but the region of integration and limits change so please uh, see whether you can do that or whether region of integration remain the same so with this uh, what all we did is uh, how to do the double integration how to do the triple integration when the constant limits are there when variable limits are there how to change the order of integration how to recover when how to do the integration when area is given how to do the integration when polar coordinates you shifted now it is the time to learn a new very interesting topic by name beta and, and gamma functions. Very very interesting topic and very smart topic. So first of all, first definition. beta function
denoted by beta m n is defined as after certain example you will be fascinated by these type of integrations but uh, till that hold on your patience is defined as notation is beta m n this is nothing but a special integration 0 to 1 this is a special integration 0 to 1 single integration here comes x here comes 1 minus x so m minus 1 n minus 1 if we interchange these two nothing happens that can be proved so that uh, dx here there are certain restrictions uh, for time being we take mn greater than 0 but afterwards we relax now for example for example we denote beta 3 phi means it is a 0 to 1 x raised to 3 minus 1 1 minus x raised to phi minus 1 of course it becomes 2 and 4 x raised to 2 1 minus x raised to 4 so if at all you want to express in terms of beta function you should write 3 minus 1 phi minus 1 so shall i write reverse now so what is the reverse of this 0 to 1 x raised to 8 1 minus x raised to suppose 10 then i should write it as 0 to 1 x raised to 9 minus 1 1 minus x raised to 11 minus 1 hence it is m and n becomes 9 11 9 11 now this is the notation apart actually what is the exact answer we are interested so it is uh, not easy without the help of beta gamma functions to find some answers of course you can use x equal to sin square theta and all that but if it is a fractional integration m and n can be fractions also 1 by 2 3 by 2 also for example if i write 0 to 1 x raised to 3 by 2 1 minus x raised to 7 by 2 this can be written as something minus 1 that is 5 by 2 minus 1 and this can be written as something minus 1 9 by 2 minus 1 and this becomes our mn hence uh, 5 by 2 and 7 by 9 by 2 so here you can put x equal to sin square theta but here we cannot put x equal to sin square theta and substitute not easy especially when it is even not 2 here but if it is 3 by 4, 7 by 4 and all that. But beta gamma functions are answers to many such uh, uh, improper integrals. Now interesting is uh, prove that prove that beta mn equal to beta m nm. Now start with beta mn proof. You know that it is 0 to 1, getting used to this now, 1 minus x raised to n minus 1 dx. See, what we want is, we want to interchange this. Here n should come, here m should come. For that, what I will do? I will put, uh, here n should come means here some y raised to 1 minus, one more important thing. Suppose if I write 0 to 1, t raised to m minus 1, instead of, uh, instead of the basic definition instead of x here if I write some other variable the answer will not change for example instead of x if I write t 1 minus t raised to n minus 1 or somebody may write 0 to 1 z raised to m minus 1 1 minus z raised to n minus 1 whether it is a t here or z here or x here the structure is important structure is 0 to 1 m minus 1 n minus 1 and whatever is there here 1 minus that t 1 minus t z 1 minus z x 1 minus x so structure is 0 to 1 m minus 1 n minus 1 all are beta m n only so by changing the variables the answers do not change naturally so that is a simple but very interesting and useful observation now now I'll put this 1 minus x itself as some y implies if I interchange x and y 1 minus y is x and if I differentiate this part 
माइनस डी एक्स इक्वल टू डी वाई और डी वाई इक्वल टू डी एक्स इक्वल टू माइनस डी वाई लिमिट्स ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन लिमिट्स ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन लेट एस टेक एक्स एंड हियर वाई इज वन माइनस एक्स वेरी सिंपल ऑब्जर्वेशन इफ एक्स इज जीरो एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो यू पुट हियर वाई इज वन इफ एक्स इज वन y you put here x you put equal to 1 minus 1 because x is 0 to 1 x equal to 0 once x equal to 1 1 you have to put 1 to 0 so 0 to 1 has become 1 to 0 now in terms of y so everything in terms of y if i change it everything in terms of So now beta mn y equal to 1 to 0 instead of x equal to so x means here 1 minus y raised to m minus 1 1 minus x means y raised to n minus 1 dx is minus dy that's all this minus sign if I take it here it becomes a 0 to 1 because of minus sign if you interchange this it becomes and y raised to n minus 1 1 minus y raised to m minus 1 so whatever is there here that comes first here and whatever is there here that comes second here so then we started with mn ended with nm that is it is almost a commutative in its nature let us have certain examples to observe that implies hence the proof beta 3 2 is equal to beta 2 3 or beta 5 by 2 7 by 2 equal to beta 7 by 2 5 by 2 and so on now one more format of beta function very important format for example solving Consider beta m n zero to one x raised to m minus one one minus x raised to n minus one. Now we substitute uh, x equal to very interestingly sine square theta. This readily implies dx is uh, two sine theta cos theta d theta. And uh, needless to mention that. When x is varying from 0 to 1, because of x equal to sin square theta relation, when x equal to 0, sin square theta 0, theta equal to 0. When x equal to 1, sin square theta 1, sin theta equal to positive, you take pi by 2. So 0 to 1, sometimes. So first of all, that structure should re remain in your mind. Beta means 0 to 1. Beta means 0 to 1. Something raised to m minus 1, 1 minus that raised to n minus 1. x raised to m minus 1, 1 minus x raised to n minus 1. So 0 to 1 is important. Next is 0 to pi by 2 in the one more format. One more format. So now beta mn starts getting converted in terms of theta in this fashion. Wherever x is there, you substitute sin square theta. Wherever x is there, if I substitute a uh, wherever x is there, if I substitute sin square theta here, sin square theta, sin square theta raised to m minus 1, 1 minus sin square theta raised to n minus 1, dx is 2 sin cos d theta. Now we have to simplify in such a way that all, all sines will come one side, all cosines will come one side. If I simplify like that, what we will get? <coughs> what 
questions uh, simplifying uh, uh, this uh, in terms of uh, theta very interesting uh, actually uh, instead of uh, dx we should write two times uh, sin theta cos theta d theta. So, hence you can very easily observe that uh, we are going to end up with uh, two outside here and theta equal to 0 to pi by 2 and a small uh, simplification 2 m minus 2 and here raised to 1 is there. So, it becomes minus 2 plus 1 minus 1 sin raised to 2 m minus 1 theta very similarly if you simplify cos in terms of n we can talk 2 n minus 1 theta d theta. So, that becomes one more format of beta and you know that this is equivalent to 0 to 1 x raise to m minus 1 1 minus x raise to n minus 1 dx. So, this is in terms of 0 to 1, this is in terms of 0 to pi by 2, this is in terms of x, this is in terms of thetas. So, fantastic. Now, it is a time to define one more partner of uh, such a beta function is a gamma function. Two fascinating I told, two fascinating I told. Now, like if at all somebody asks us to integrate uh, sin raise to minus half theta d theta 0 to pi by 2, oh God, not possible. But this type of integration that is a uh, 1 upon square root of sin theta I am asking to integrate. So, not possible at present, but after this small chapter it becomes very easy. Now, very interesting function, one more is a uh, gamma function. denoted by denoted by gamma n read as gamma of n it is extension of factorial for fractions is uh, defined as special integral gamma n equal to it is a uh, infinity beta was uh, 0 to 1 and gamma is a infinity function which is a e raise to minus x x raise to here comes n this n is important for this n so this format is important so here we put a small restriction for time being uh, n is positive but for some negative values it is a uh, uh, it is a uh, existing For example, if I write, uh, for example, if I write uh, 0 to infinity e raise to minus x, x raise to 8 dx, that means I should write 0 to infinity e raise to minus x, x raise to 7 dx. Okay, this is sorry, x raise to uh, 9 minus 1, x raise to 9 minus 1 dx. So, this becomes our n now, this is gamma 9. Similarly, if I write Okay, this can be somehow integrated by integration by parts, but not easy, uh, difficult. Similarly, if I write uh, second example as uh, 0 to infinity e raise to minus x, uh, x raise to pi by 2. When fraction comes, its importance increases. 0 to infinity e raise to minus x, uh, x raise to 7 by 2 minus 1 dx. So, this becomes n now and gamma of 7 by 2. The value of all these integrations which are, once again I am writing, looks a little difficult now strange and become familiar to you and that is very important. And uh, fascinatingly most of such uh, improper integrals what they are called as uh, they will be appearing in uh, uh, many practical examples. One more format, one more format of uh, gamma function. Now, gamma n equal to 0 to infinity e raise to minus x, x raise to n minus 1 dx. This format should remain to you, e raise to minus x should be there, it should not be 2 x, 3 x, x square, e raise to minus x raise to 1. Okay. And one more is if it is 0 to infinity e raise to minus y, y raise to n minus 1 dx dy, 0 to infinity e raise to minus t t raise to n minus 1, see in all these cases format is same, y raise to 1, n minus 1, instead of x just y. So, 
So, 0 to infinity is a must. So, all are gamma n, all are gamma n, all are gamma n. Now, interestingly, a small observation here, but is useful for our next examples. Just change x 2 t square d x 2 2 d t 2 d t d t and 0 to infinity will not change because x 0 t 0 x infinity t infinity. So, that uh, 0 to infinity will not change. So, now this simple observations give us a new format of gamma. So, changing x to t language after changing x should not remain naturally t is also 0 to infinity wherever x is there t square wherever x is there t square and dx is 2 times t dt. So, hence uh, one more format one more format of gamma function is a 0 to infinity e raise to minus t square 2 times this and uh, this becomes 2 n minus 2 plus t raise to 1 2 n minus 1 a similar 2 n minus 1 2 n minus 1 was appearing in beta and naturally there is a relation between some of you might have thinking what is the relation between beta gamma fantastic relation is there between beta gamma so let us sum up let us sum up now what all we did beta m n beta m n 0 to 1 x raise to m minus 1 1 minus x raise to n minus 1 dx or it is uh, 2 times 0 to pi by 2 sin raise to 2 m minus 1 cos raise to 2 n minus 1 naturally because you can interchange m and n sin and cos can be interchanged and value will not change very interesting. Gamma function you defined 0 to infinity e raise to minus x x raise to n minus 1 or in terms of 2 times 0 to infinity this becomes a square t raise to 2 n minus 1. So, all these are we are going to use. Now, there is a very interesting property first we will note and afterwards uh, if uh, time permits we will prove a big note here gamma n plus 1 is n factorial for example, gamma 9 is 8 factorial gamma 3 is 2 factorial gamma 2 is 1 factorial gamma 1 0 factorial gamma 0 not defined also if you remember there was a relation in uh, factorial n plus 1 factorial is a uh, n plus 1 into n factorial very similar relation here second note gamma n plus 1 ok very very important note not very much similar, but uh, you can reduce it to n gamma n which is uh, which is equal to which is equal to gamma suppose uh, gamma of suppose 7 by 2 or gamma of 7 by 2. So, you have to subtract 1 n plus 1 is in terms of because 7 by 2 minus 1 is 5 by 2. So, now again if you apply the same thing again if you subtract 5 by 2 becomes 3 by 2. Again you apply the same rule 3 by 2 becomes 1 by 2. what is gamma half that is important, but we will prove it interestingly gamma half becomes root pi cannot imagine that we will prove later. One more for reduction formula gamma of suppose uh, uh, 11 by 2. So, by this observation it becomes 9 by 2, 7 by 2, 5 by 2, 3 by 2. 1 by 2 gamma half need not be always divided by 2 it can be divided by 4 also gamma of suppose uh, some 13 by 4 13 by 4 minus 1 becomes 7 by 4 sorry 13 by 4 minus 1 becomes 9 by 4 so 9 by 4 gamma 9 by 4 
again subtract 9 by 4 becomes 5 by 4 if you subtract 1. by 4 becomes 1 by 4. So, when it becomes less than 1 we stop. These gamma 1 by 4 are available in that gamma tables just like sin and cosine table interesting. Why not we should have not always fractions, but we can have integers also gamma 9 reduce it to that reduce it to again 8 is a gamma 8 is again 7 gamma 7. 6 gamma 6, if you go on reducing like this 6 5 4 3 2 1 gamma 1 you will get gamma 1 is 1. So, that gamma 9 becomes 8 factorial which value you know now which value you know. For example, interestingly for example, interestingly in this integration of uh, uh, i equal to 0 to infinity e raised to minus x now x raised to 6 dx suppose. Now, if we express this in terms of gamma function 0 to infinity e raised to minus x x raised to 7 minus 1 dx this is gamma of n and this is 6 factorial directly answer you can write many more such answers with uh, relation between beta gamma functions definitely next class will be more interesting till that bye.